Cincinnati's certified most accurate forecast. Well, we had a gloomy Sunday around here and then we had a little bit of sun to start off the week, but then that quickly faded behind clouds and here we are already tracking our next rainmaker that's scooting its way up from the Gulf Coast states tonight. Looks like another good soaking is on the way. A matter of fact, this is what the models are thinking is going to fall in terms of rainfall right now. It looks like a good solid inch of rain should be expected, especially along the Interstate 71 corridor that includes us here and the Cincinnati metro area and points south and east. Some of the heavier rains will fall across parts of northern Kentucky. Kentucky and areas south and east of Cincinnati, but everyone's going to get in on another good soaking across the area starting up late tonight. Here's a live look outside right now. Your evening forecast, at least it's going to be dry around here through the dinner time hours. Temperatures around 40 now will slowly sink their way back into the upper 30s through 9 and 10 o'clock. It's 42 right now at the airport. We've got ourselves an east wind at five. Those winds are going to ramp up too by tomorrow morning. So not only will it be a very wet Tuesday, but it's going to be a wind driven rain. So it's going to be very unpleasant, very uncomfortable to start your Tuesday morning out there. So 40 in Springboro, 42 Loveland, 40 Batavia, Georgetown at 40. Already beginning to see some upper 30s out there. Harrison, Falmouth right now, Brookville, Batesville, all already dropping down into the upper 30s tonight. So high pressures on the retreat. Cloud cover is already streaming up through the Ohio Valley, and here comes the storm system that's going to bring another round of beneficial rains, especially to folks across the deep south where they've had the exceptional drought conditions. I mean, boy, this is how you want to bust a drought up here. You get two or three systems back to back of locally heavy rainfall. Not so good for the areas where they had the wildfires because we could see mudslides becoming a concern, but it looks like this system's going to scoot along and south of the Ohio River with plenty of rain, including wet weather for us. So here's a look at future cast by about three o'clock. Looks like rain will begin to reach up towards the Ohio River and then rain will overspread the area. Here's your 7 a.m. hour. So again, tomorrow morning's commute going to be a lousy one. You probably want to factor in a little bit of extra time. That umbrella may even be a little difficult to hold because I expect it to be pretty breezy out there, so not a pleasant wait at the bus stop tomorrow morning. And that rain pretty much goes all day. It's a washout until about 3 or 4 o'clock, and then it looks like the rain begins to end. And as we get into tomorrow night, skies will clear. Looks like we start Wednesday on the dry side. Wednesday will be in between weather systems here. This is during the day on Wednesday, but then that very cold air, that blast of Arctic air, it's expected to arrive late Wednesday night, and you can see maybe some impacts in terms of maybe a few flurries or snow snow showers. While there is going to be a big drop in temperatures, I don't see significant snowfall coming to the Ohio Valley. But here comes that cold air, the coldest of the season likely to stick around here Thursday night into Friday. The weekend's going to start very cold and then we'll begin to see temperatures moderate some as we get into Sunday. But all indications are that over the next two weeks, there's going to be a lot of cold air very close by. So the weather certainly will probably get a little more interesting around here. But at least for now, I don't see significant snow for us. So 38 for a low tonight with cloudy skies. Again, rain will arrive well after midnight, 3, 4 a.m. And then tomorrow, a wet day, kind of a lousy day, really, with temperatures in the mid 40s and a heavy wind driven rain to start. Here's your day planner. Again, ugly looking day until we start to dry out tomorrow evening. Temperatures will be in the 40s. Here's your seven day forecast. Wednesday still relatively mild, given the fact we'll be in the low 40s, but then won't climb back above freezing until the weekend once we go below that on Wednesday night. So there's your threat for maybe a flurry or snow shower but 15 right now. Friday night, Saturday morning looks to be the coldest. We're now hitting that winter groove, whether you like it or not. <laughs> I know. I'm <laughs>